why in the hell is Steven the Knight refusing to work with Marvel Studio? Like Marvel Studio won't boost his career up to times 10 next level just for being able to use them as a reference. Is it because Disney staying on violence and the way the Daredevil Netflix series was brutal? <laughs> Let's go diving and find out. Whoa, what's good with you, YouTube and YouTube Busters? Your boy Triple Cup Chuck, and I'm up. And appreciate you for coming, rock with me, like, sharing, and subscribing. And if you have an opinion about the situation that's going on, leave a comment below. I'm going to read it. Because when you comment, our collective minds put together, we bring synergy. This is how we start the video off. Double Cup, feel it right. Told Chuck, I feel like every night is all night. Okay, really and truly, it has more to do with Marvel's current editor-in-chief i thought he was asian at first <laughs> no i didn't but um that was the thing that was going around is if y'all don't know just give me a second just to give a recap of who he of what he is and who he is and what he does i'm just gonna start by saying that he pulled off a master move that was edgy i guess to say because it's double standards i'm gonna be one of the first ones to admit it because if he would have tried that and doing it in a different way you got to hear me out what i'm saying <laughs> that this could have felt completely off the rails like 16 car train crash like some final destination right he got a boost in his career by pretending he was asian right asian now if he would have tried to do that and try to do blackface or try to pretend that he was black that would have boom, probably sunk his career. But just because he pretended to be an Asian, that just automatically gave him some extra cool points or something. I don't even understand why did that matter. And even though all the stuff that people are saying, it still just ain't add up to me more than gotcha, a shock factor. So I just got to hats off and commend him to what he had did. I don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying shock factor, and I'm saying just the whole concept. And if you and it help open up people's eyes. Yes, everybody eyes, right? To what's really going on in this real world, and stop going with the BS. That's why I'm a Louisiana from Louisiana. Home team comes first. You know, I will criticize them, but at the same time. Home team is still a home team, right? Anyway, if y'all don't catch that metaphor, cool, because it wasn't meant for you. But, he pulled off the masterpiece, and now we're going to find out why, <laughs> why the Daredevil showrunner do not want to work with Marvel Studio at the moment. Well, let's go ahead and do a quick cut and go into the next little piece of the segment, because I'm going to keep it, you know what I'm saying, chopped up. Let's go ahead. Okay, I just had to do a little quick research on Stephen tonight and seeing what he got going on. Actually, I think it's the only reason why he's not working on a Marvel project no more is because he have a deal with Amazon. And I'm betting that uh, Marvel, Disney, was not going to let them make a daredevil the way Netflix let them make a daredevil and the whole racism thing against like how they was treating minorities and asian americans and it's a bunch of um things that was going on at the netflix set would make them saying i won't go there but i don't think disney have don't get me wrong i'm not sitting saying disney is perfect all right only thing that i'm saying is that i don't think we under kevin foggy uh marvel that none of those things that he was um that was going on at Netflix is going to happen over there at Disney. I might be wrong. It's just a vibe that I have, and then the way they treating like the um the Marvel uh movies now is you get the Eternals and you get like Black Panther and it, it uh, and Shang Chi, which man we gonna talk about Shang Chi. Matter of fact, we gonna do it now because it's out on Disney Plus because people was talking about Shang Chi. And you got to think about it. A lot of people couldn't go to the movie theaters to go watch Shang Chi because of the, um, you know, the epidemic, uh, pandemic that we going through, right? Some people don't want to pay thirty dollars just to watch one movie one time to rent it. Now I pay thirty dollars if I can own it, not to rent. 
which you know just need to hear them i mean i would have if it was for y'all y'all like oh man do a review on shane t man we want to hear triple cup now nah, that would have inspired me to do that but i'm not going to do that but now that it's out on disney plus i get to sit there and watch it and break it down and find out and hawkeye coming yeah disney plus gonna be what's up but um just back to, back to the topic at hand right i just feel like with his deal with Amazon and he could do what he want to do, that he going to go do his thing with Amazon because he going to have free reign. Some people don't consider success as, as in how much you have, it's how, how much you have inside of you, right? So if you feel free, then you're successful. If you could be able to do what you want to do and go where you want to go and be what you want to be and et cetera, then you're successful, you're free, right? So maybe the deal with Disney was such a big deal and you know you got all these stipulations on MDMAs and we can go down the list of different things and he probably has to follow a certain guideline and then when, while they're doing the movie, they might have to have a, uh, a uh, what, what they call it, uh, thing where this is what Kevin Foggy will allow you get what I'm saying? So a lot of people don't want to go through that, uh, that those things. So it might not have nothing to do with racism or or any type of uh, discrimination. Or it might do. We just here to talk about it and give our thoughts and think about how do we really feel about this here? Is that a good move? A power move? Is Amazon in the position where he can't do nothing else and that's why he's at Amazon. Well, anyway, <laughs> you know, people all uh, do deliveries for him. I ain't gonna talk about that. We're gonna go diving about that. Well, appreciate y'all for rocking with me, man. Like, share, subscribe, and let everybody know Triple Cup Chuck and I'm up. And I don't do this for me, I do this for we. So, like, share, and subscribe. I can say that three times as a triple.